Hello all and welcome to a, another pickups video, a pickups video which includes games for the Xbox 360, of course, the e Xbox One and some PlayStation 2 games as well. Now, most of those are from charity shops, have some real good turn up in charity shops, some really good finds, but not all of them. There are games from other places as well. But before we crack on with the games, I do wish to share with you one gift that I've very very kindly received as well and it indeed is this piece of hammerbead art that's been staring at you on screen the whole time from the start yes this hammerbead art of bubsy the bobcat was very kindly sent to me by scott over at sega saturn lad he contacted me one day said he had a gift for me you know that he'd like to send to me you know would it be okay and i said yeah sure that'd be great mate honestly any gift will be kindly appreciated especially from a good friend and this is what turned up in the mail one day and it's absolutely amazing it's lovely it's just amazing that someone will spend so much time making something and then give it to you and obviously just give it to me no postage no nothing just kindly give it to me and i have the perfect spot to display this because my units that display my wall of xbox 360 one side is exposed it is very plain and this is exactly where bubsy will be going he'll be pinned up on there in fact if i conclude some sort of imagery to show you where this will be going after this video i will have done so by now and you'll have just seen it on screen but honestly scott thank you very much for sending this to me there will be a link to scott's channel in the description below if you like your car boot salvage, you're out and about stuff with live footage, then please do check out his channel. It's a fine example of putting in the effort to get up early and go out there. You know, can really pay off. He gets some great finds, some great CX trading fodder, and then obviously can add to his collection via that means and does an absolutely amazing job of it. I love watching car boot videos. So if you do, please do check out his channel. Link in the description below. So let's carefully move this out the way. Don't want to damage it. And we'll start crack on with the games. Now, before we go on the charity shop stuff, I'll show you the games which I've got from elsewhere. And first up is one that I've been putting a bit of time into already because I have been waiting for this to drop to a price that I was willing to pay, shall we say. I didn't want to pay the full whack for it when it came out, but I did very much want this game because I do like my fighting games. And of course, Samurai Showdown is indeed one of those. Now, You'll probably guess by the label and the colouring of it that this came from game. It's exactly where it came from. Now, the funny story behind this is I've been going into game a lot and always been looking at it, waiting for it to drop in price. And the day that I went into game to see if they had this, I pulled out the standard edition first, thinking that that would be the cheap one. And the price on that was $29.99. So I put it back and I thought, no, I won't have that. And I thought, well, do you know what? I'll have a look at the special edition next to it. Just, just see what it is, how much difference it is the difference expecting you know it to be higher and when i saw the price at 13.99 on it i thought it was a mistake took it to the counter they scanned it 13.99 it was so yeah cheaper than the standard edition i've got the special edition which includes a caesar's pass it is all on dlc codes which i've obviously put in already and have used and i'm just really pleased to have this because i do like my fighting games and it's it's beautiful to look at they've done an amazing job of the graphics on this it's beautiful to look at it, it plays smoothly a lot less brutal than the original Samurai Showdown games, but still as fun and I'm having a good time with it. And obviously, plenty of gamer score is being had as well. Okay, next game up is from a Cash Concepts local to me. And I picked this up, as you'll see, for just a quid. Fast and the Furious Showdown. Now, they had all their games in a glass cabinet there, and there was all only a quid each, so maybe they was having a clear out of their Xbox 360 stuff. There was one game that I picked up there, which has already disappeared for trade. It's Batman Arkham Origins. That was for a quid. I got £4 trading for that. That's already gone. But I saw this there, and I needed it for the collection. I picked it up, and I thought, that's a bit light. There's going to be no manual in it. Indeed, I opened it up, and there was no manual in it. Now, if it's got this writing on the inlay, generally, they don't have a manual. I think there's a couple of exceptions. I don't know if this is one, but as soon as I see that writing on the inlay, I'm more more than happy to pick it up and add it to the collection because there's a good chance it doesn't have a manual and only a quid 50p or a pound game that i need in the collection if it's priced up at that never ever going to turn it down so yeah bag fast and furious showdown for only a quid from cash concepts so a couple of cex buys finally got myself a copy of body count and as you'll see there for only two quid 
People keep saying this is a bit of a hidden gem. I know my good friend Russell Borhohor is a fan of this game and says it's a great game, certainly for the money. It's a great game anyway. And I finally see it turn up, one of my CXs. I've been looking out for it for ages because I knew it wasn't an expensive game. It was the one that you have to look in the boxes to see if the manual's in there because then you'll know you'll get it if it's in the box. And it was in the box as well. Only two quid. Had to bag that for, yeah, only two quid. So really pleased to have that one. And last of the non-charity shop stuff. While I was in there, I did the same with this. You know, check see if the manual's in it because it was that same store. Manual's in there. Dynasty Warriors 6. For, for only two quid as well. As I said at the moment, if, if a game on the 360 is two quid or less in a CEX and I haven't got it, it's in good condition with the manual, I'm going to pick it up. I'm really pleased to have this because it's been annoying me that sitting on my wall of 360, I've had five, seven and eight for ages and I've been able to finally plug that gap of the standard Dynasty Warriors by picking up six for only two pound. Right, so charity shop stuff now. Now I'm going to start off with a little non-gaming item first. I saw this in a very local charity shop to me and I thought, you know what, I've got to have that. It's quite a cute little thing. As you'll see, you might be able to make it out there. It's uh, Luigi's Mansion, a little sort of keyring plush of Luigi's hat. And it was only 49p. And it's obviously still sealed in its original bag and everything. And I just thought that was cute. And I thought I have to have that. And to be honest with you, I I know I'm not the biggest collector of Nintendo. I've got a little bit of it. But my focus is obviously is, is mainly Xbox. And, and then after that is Sega. But I've got nothing against Nintendo. But I think this might be gifted to someone who would appreciate it more. I was going to say it's, it's in its original packaging and everything. So I'm sure that I can gift that to a fellow member of the community that might appreciate it more. But I thought for 50, for 49p or 50p, I was about to say there, we'll call it 50p. You know, I can't turn that down. That That's 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 a nice little thing. Okay, we are on to the games now. Uh, Xbox One from a charity shop. I picked up Zoo Tycoon. Now, this was only 50p and I did actually pick it up with a couple of other games at the same time. They have since disappeared and been traded in. This was up for consideration to be traded in, but I don't know if anybody else has noticed, but this was the only one to have this rating on the front, which means obviously it's come from the NTSC region. However, it is region free. Now, CX can be funny and not take it, or they can, you know, if they know that it's region free, they might take it. I have seen some Xbox One stuff in there with those uh, ratings on, so they obviously have taken it, but they can be funny about it. And I thought, you know what, this one I will actually keep. I'll avoid all that potential, you know, will they, won't they factor about it and actually keep this. Also, the, the, the thousand G out of this is meant to not be too bad for it. So I don't think it comes with a manual. And so you see, there you go, the rating on the disc matches as well. But for only 50p, you know, I wasn't going to turn it down anyway. If it was traded in and they took it, I think I'd get £4 for it. So it would have been a nice little markup. But you know what? I don't, I don't mind these type of games, you know, build your own zoo type games. So I will actually look forward to playing this as well. It'd be worth a good try on that one. Anyway, we've got more Xbox One games that come from different charity shops. These were all 50p each. First up, we've got Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, when I walked into the charity shop and picked this up with two other games, I walked towards where the games were normally kept and I glanced over to the counter and I saw them sitting there and I was like, right, we'll go to the shelves, see if there's anything there, and then we'll ask about those on the way back. There was nothing on the shelves for me, nothing at all. Anyway, I went back to, to the counter and I spoke to the young lad behind the counter and said, I'm interested in those games. Is it, all, is it all right if I take those? And he went, yeah, sure, no worries. You can have those. And they're, yeah, they're only they're, they're 50p each. And I was like, yeah, all the games are in there 50p each, you know. So that's why my eyes lit up when I saw them. But anyway, yeah, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the Xbox One for only 50p. This was with another Call of Duty game. Another Call of Duty game. And I've already played it on the 360. Got it on the 360. It was the last of the, the games I bought on launch day was Ghost for the 360. Saw that there as well. Where I was going with that was the achievement stack. Um, and uh, it's sealed. It's sealed. Sealed Xbox One game in a charity shop for 50p. And yeah, that's that's a no-brainer to, to take. I mean, it's got markup for trading in, but I'll be keeping this one and I'll be stacking some achievements on this because I've played through this on Veteran and I finished it on Veteran, so I know I can do it once. Obviously, that means I can do it again. That's exactly what I'll be doing. So that one will 
we'll be we'll be breathing. We will let this breathe and we will play it. And then it will go into the collection. And then finally, nothing too special, but the other game on there was NBA 2K17. And at 50p, it's not got trading markup. It's a saving of what CX would sell it for. And I just thought, you know what, we'll nab that as well. We'll pick that one up. And we'll, we'll, we'll get some game square out of it. I do like basketball. I'm an NBA fan. Not so much on M NFL, but I am an NBA fan. So we'll be giving that a little play and having some game score out of it. And we'll be popping that one into the collection because can't turn down any Xbox One game in a charity shop for 50p. Unless it's a very old FIFA, perhaps, like 14. But uh, apart from that, yeah, I can't turn any non-football game down in a charity shop for only 50p for the Xbox One. And then finally, a couple of PlayStation 2 games that turned up in a charity shop near me. The, the second one's a doozy. But the first one, the first one was Resident Evil Code Veronica X for only a quid. I mean, I think the trading at CX for this is only £1.40. So it's a little bit of saving on what they would sell it for, certainly. And it's got like 40p markup if I want to. But not quite sure what I'd do with it yet. There's the receipt from the charity shop. So, yeah, this one come with its manual. And it's got its bit in the middle, which the bottom hinge is broken. But, you know, that's not an issue. And the, the, the demo disc is in there as well. So for only a quid... That's a bargain, but this isn't the real bargain. Couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this sitting on the shelf. Finally, a, a really, really good score from a charity shop. And we've got Resident Evil Survivor 2 Code Veronica, as you'll see, for only a quid. I can get trading for this at CEX for £21, and they sell it for £32. They'll give me cash 15 for it. But the other one, I don't know if you noticed, there's a little bit of writing on the manual, a little bit of crease, a little bit ropey. Discs were fine. Obviously, that hinge was broken in the middle. It was a little bit bad and beaten. This, however, is absolutely mint. There is not a mark on that manual. I suppose, actually, there is if you want to count that. But for, for a pre-owned game, this is an absolutely amazing condition. I've had the disc out and flipped that round. The other one has some, a couple of light surface scratches. This has nothing. It is absolutely mint. So I'm definitely going to give this a little try before I move it on. Because ultimately I'm not going to keep it in the long run. But whether I decide to trade it in or sell it on eBay. Because I might get a little bit more. You know, because I don't think CX have this in stock at time of me recording this as well. So whether I trade it in is one thing. Whether I decide to sell it is another. But I'll definitely be giving it a play first. But to have this turn up for only a quid... Wow, you know, this is why I, I go out nearly every day on the way home from work when I can. I have two days off from work and I generally go around all the charity shops on one of those two days as well because you have to keep going. If you keep going, you'll eventually get the paydays. And this was one of those occasions. Well worth it. Obviously, well worth it. So pleased to have this. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is my final pickup from this video. Please do check out Sega Saturn Lad channel. And like I said, link in the description. That was an awesome gesture from Scott. Very grateful. We're going to decorate my gaming area very nicely. If you have enjoyed this video, hitting a thumbs up would be awesome. If you are new to the channel, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. If you do, I will love you for it. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And as always, please do take care.